Greetings, person currently watching this, and welcome to Photonica. I hope I'm saying that right. This, as you can see, is a game about running, and I'm guessing that it is a mobile game, or in the very least it should be, because it is rather simple to play. You only need one button. You hold the button as you... <laughs> I guess you can't really see because you can't see my hands, but you hold the button down to run, you let go of the button to jump, and while you're in the air, if you can jump correctly, there we go. While you're in the air, if you press the button down, your guy will fall faster. Because people can do that, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, since there isn't much to this game, I don't think there's going to be much that I can do in the way of commentary. So, I guess I'm going to do a little, uh, what would you call it, vlog, blog, whatever. I just want to give you guys a heads, guys and gals a heads up over what's been happening recently. Ooh, so we achieved a max speed of 85.6 meters per second, I'm guessing. Um, we did something involving 5,723 M's. Uh, we collected four dots, and we got to gold, apparently. Yay, monetary rewards for running. Okay, so we will do the next one. As you can see, I played a couple of these levels already, just to test out this game see how it was, see, you know, if my computer can handle it, which, I mean, I'd be surprised if it couldn't. It, the, the graphics are pretty simplistic, but, you know, it, it kind of lends to the game itself. No reason to have flashy graphics in a game like this. Either way, so, to my story. For those of you who do not know, which is pretty much everybody, I think, at this point, a while back, actually on the 14th of last month, my grandfather passed away. Now, I will not go into detail over what happened, but my, at the time when he was alive, my job was being his caregiver. So, uh, when he passed away, not only did I lose my grandfather, but also I lost my job, and because of the way I got paid, oh, I hate you too, Gravity. Either way, because of the way I got paid, for being his caregiver, I also lost my home. So yeah, in one night I lost my grandfather, my job, and my home. So oh, fortunately, I have gotten a job recently. I got a job at Wally World, which for those of you who don't know, that's Walmart. Basically, I put boxes on carts and then give the carts to the stock boys and ow my face. All right, well, so looks like it didn't really do much damage. Ow my face again. Okay, maybe I can do a little less head bashing, please? I mean, a person's skull can only be so thick. I think I'm a person. I don't know what, what, what I am. Maybe I'm a robot. Well, because if I was a robot, I wouldn't be making those noises, now would I? It'd be more metallic sounding, because that's, uh, my face. It, it, please excuse me, I just have this strange proclivity to, uh, smash my face against... Ah, uh, crap. Yeah, it's kind of hard to play video games and talk at the same time. This I have learned. But, yeah, that's another thing I should say about with this game. When you want to jump, jump before you get to the edge. Like that. Don't jump at the edge. Because if you try to jump at the edge, um, you probably won't release in time. And it won't register it as a jump, so you will just fall to your doom. Like I've been doing pretty much this entire time. Either way, so I have a job now. And hopefully, eventually, I can get enough money I can afford my own place. But, for the time being... I am living with my family, which means that I am in a home with about six other people. And as you can guess, it's kind of hard to find a time when it's quiet enough in a house that big to record and not have any, ah, uh, crap, and not have any outside noises that would interfere with the recording. Because this, the mic I use, it uh, picks up noise from all directions, which is really annoying, but... Yeah, whatever, it was like 40 bucks, so, you know, what can you do? Also, you know, with my computer, it's in one of my brother's rooms, and, you know, I don't feel like either waking him up or kicking him out of his own room just to record, so it's kind of like I have to find that Goldilocks just right point in time when I can record, and it's not too loud in the house, and I'm not kicking my brother out of his own room, or waking him up by recording. So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know what was going down and what was happening. For hopefully sometime soon, I don't know, you know, here you have to, you know, like, I'm using that term very loosely, the word soon, because 
It could be like now, it could be a few months from now. Ah, my face again. But either way, eventually I'll get my own place, and I'm not going to make that jump. This is only the second level, by the way, and I am screwing up this bat. But yeah, I'll be able to get my own place, and at that point I'll be able to, you know, get, you know, all the benefits that come with having your own place. Chiefly, being able to do whatever you want, whenever you want, however you want. I mean, of course, within reason, I just don't want to break the laws or anything like that. Alright, I'm kind of focusing right now, so... Eyes on the prize. Stay focused. Gotta make your home country proud. Wh wherever you are, weird cyber human thing. That's right. Be the jump. See yourself as the jump. Imagine your feet leaving the ground and gliding through the air. That's it. That's the that's the stuff of legends. This is the kind of things people talk about around the campfires. Ah. Yes. No. Yes. I got this. I got this. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> Suck it, gravity. I am the victor. Yeah. Even though that was only the second level, so there's probably absolutely no reason for me to celebrate. But still, I feel good about my achievements. All right. Third level. Ignati. Whatever that is, it's a word though, apparently. Oh yeah, and I don't know if the music in this game is like copyrighted, but hey, I don't monetize my videos, so I don't care. And if anything, you know, I can just remove the music from the, I have no idea what I hit, from the game, and just like replace it with some music by Kevin McLeod or something. Oop. Also, I should mention, um, uh, crap, I made myself fall too quickly there. All right, looks like when you hit those, I mean, it might be when you hit those things, they kind of catapult you or something. I'm hoping, I'm guessing. But either way, uh, as I said, with this game, you only need to use one button. And what's cool is, is it can be if you have, a, if you get it for key computer. I don't know if you can get it for any other platform, but when you have it for computer, you can use any keyboard, any key on the keyboard. I right now I'm using W because spacebar is like the least responsive button on the planet. Ah. Hi! That actually worked! I think it was gonna work that well. But yeah, there we go. Also, this was requested for me to play by Ubercrit Andrew, who I believe has his own YouTube channel. He does stuff. Uh, it, I enjoy it, so I mean, maybe you'll enjoy it. I don't know. You know, different people have different tastes. You might find it funny, you might find it annoying. You might find that it gives you constipation. Who can say? And gracefully, yeah. One thing I do like about this game, however, is it does give you that whole kind of, like, feeling of freedom that you usually get from games like this. You know, the kind of, uh, hardcore games, especially, uh, Mirror's Edge, because Mirror's Edge was, uh, first person. And if I remember right, um, with that game, not only was it first person, but you could actually see your body, which is something, for some reason, I don't know if it's, like, really hard to program in, or if they just you know like there's no way to make it look right or I don't know but it seems like a lot of games neglect that you know like putting a body in you're just kind of like a floating pair of arms gripping an assault rifle usually but with Mirror's Edge I believe you actually did have a body and ow there we go no I didn't want to jump actually I think jumping might actually help you accelerate faster so it might be a good idea to jump after I screw up by banging my head on things hit the thing oh I didn't hit the thing oh well but still, yeah, even though this is... I... Oh, oh, I actually made that. Cool. I thought I messed up. Yeah, I do love... I do like that. Just the whole, like... I don't know what... I guess the feeling of flying or the feeling of soaring. I don't really know how to place it. It's just that feeling of freedom. Just floating through the air like this and then coming down. And, you know, all of it being under your control. And also just being able to run at the... I... Messed that up. Alright, so right there I was supposed to actually land on the uh, booster. At least now we know, and we can go through. Yeah, as I, get, as I said at the beginning of this video, there isn't much to this game, I don't think. And other than me commentating about when I screw up in the most embarrassing ways, there's not much to commentate about because I don't think much happens in this game. Now I'd have to go, I'll have to go, because I don't know, I'll have to go and look and I'll see how much this game costs. I'll put it down in the description so that way you guys know. I mean, of course I'm going to have the Steam page there, so you can always click the link and check if you want. But, you know, I know that there's some people who don't like clicking links. 
which is perfectly fine. I can understand why you wouldn't want to just click every wild link that appears in front of your eye. Balls. Can I hit it? There we go. Excellent. And jump! And land on that thing, I think. You didn't land on that thing, you landed on a beam, you stupid cyber dude. I blame him. Everything that is wrong in my life, I blame on this one person who doesn't really exist. Because, you know, you can do that. And then, I probably get sent to an insane asylum, so I probably shouldn't do that. But hey, whatever. Alright, so I think this is... Aha, my face again. So I think this is going to be the last level. Um, I think this video is going to be a bit on the short side. But, you know, I don't... I don't know how much you guys would enjoy just dead silence and heck, it might be actually less annoying. It might be more entertaining if I shut my mouth and just, you know, play. But either way, I'm probably going to end the episode after this level because I've pretty much run out of things to talk to. At this point, I'm just kind of running my mouth. So we'll get this one done because I hate leaving things unfinished, as you know. And then we will end it here because I think I've given you guys a pretty good look at the game. Like I said, I think there isn't... Ah, oh, crap. Okay, that one's going to be tough. Either that's just a red herring. Yeah, maybe it's just a red herring and you're not supposed to hit it at all. You're like, try to hit that. Maybe you're supposed to keep flying through the air. Because, uh, wait, maybe I can get down... Okay, let's try this real quick. Let's get down here on the lower level. Yeah, right here. Maybe this will help. See, I know this will launch us, which is good. Oh, okay. And then jump and land on that. There we go. Yeah, see, maybe if we stick to the lower levels, we'll actually be able to hit that one. Unless this is the lower level. No, that's not the lower level. Ah, no, 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 no. Ooh. Oh, okay. So apparently, when you're like that, you can jump and... No, no. Okay, this is working. Oh, this is working. It's not ah, working the way I wanted it to, but it was working. So that's always a good thing. So yeah, there you go. Looks like with this one is... Because uh, it, it never said anything about, you know, I just assumed that... You want to stay up as high as you can because, you know, it takes some skill to jump. By the looks of it on this level, you want to stay down here in the lower area. You know, all down in the gutters. Where nobody would think to be. There we go. Ooh. I keep thinking I'm going to miss that one. And hit the booster. Yeah. Excellent. But yeah, I think I... Again, I don't think I ever finished it, but I do really enjoy that whole feeling of, uh, I guess, weightlessness. I think that would be the word. There we go. Were you... No, you weren't the one I missed. No, you're not the one I miss. Nope, you're not. Well, that's unfortunate. Can I get down a little bit? There we go. That works. That works out perfectly fine. This is directly in line with my... Oh! I have no idea what was going on there. Everything just became a blur. Hmm. I don't know if there's any way to slow down in this game. Because, I mean, again, all, I've, all I was told with this game is... You hold down the button to run... Huh, maybe if I let go of the button and just let my guy go. Let's try I'm trying to find a spot that's like long enough for me to actually test that out. Okay, so what if we just do this? Will he slow down? Doesn't look like it. But you don't get as fa you know, you don't get he doesn't get as fast as fast. So I guess that's good. There we are. But you do have to get a kind of some speed going, because if you don't, you'll miss everything and die. Alright, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna because I just keep failing at this mission, because clearly I suck at this game, and I've pretty much run out of things to talk about. Still, I hope you enjoyed this episode and this game as much as I did. Bye.